Hey guys, welcome to Woodwork Life and my new shop. You've probably seen some pictures of this in some of my Instagram feed and also maybe even some of the projects that I've put on the channel. This is a three car garage in my new house that we just moved and we're starting to put this thing together. I wanted to take this time to give you guys a little bit of a tour, kind of answer some of the questions that I've seen online about how this shop's laid out, what the tools are and kind of how it all works. So let's, let's start over here at sort of the most important part of any woodworkers work triangle the uh, table saw station. Um, I've been using this rigid cast iron tabletop table saw for a couple years now, and I've heard some complaints about the fence and little things about it, but once I got it all dialed in and set up, it's been a very reliable tool. Uh, I've used it for tons and tons of projects. I've got it hooked up to a dust collection hose that my cameraman Mike over here is about to have to step over. Uh, up over there on the wall, it's got a dedicated uh, Rockler dust right uh, dust collector. Um, from there, I've got this little uh, router station. Uh, you've probably seen the video on that already. If not, I'll link that below in the description. Um, but I put this thing together. The plans are available free on buildsomething.com, but it's got a nice little bin to help you out with dust collection. I've got a couple organized little drawers down here. And right now, it's also a miter saw station. Another project I'm gonna have to build this year, so stay tuned for that as well. Another big upgrade that I made with moving to the new shop was upgrading some of my previous like contractor job site tools to more like stationary uh, industrial tools. So I upgraded my planer from the Delta that I started with into the DeWalt that I upgraded to and now into this 20 inch spiral head planer from Laguna Tools. It's got the, I think it's six rows of carbide teeth. So it leaves basically a sanded surface when everything's set and done. Real clean, great dust collection. That's one of the big things you don't hear about with spiral heads is they make the smaller chips. They work really well with dust collection. From there, I also finally got myself a new bandsaw in the shop. Uh, and I went with the Laguna 18BX. Uh, this is an 18 inch capacity bandsaw with capacity for up to an inch and a quarter blade that I have on it right now. A really nice saw. I just did some resawing on white oak with it and it's super smooth, super quiet, super powerful. Uh, I really like this thing and does everything I need it to. Um, from there, we're gonna go into kind of the shop organization kind of set up. Uh, there are a few things I like to have like at hand, sort of first order retrievability um, to uh, echo back to Adam Savage. Uh, so this is my, I call it my tool mount Rushmore, uh, kind of lame, but whatever. These are kind of my favorite cordless tools that I've handled and I, I get to handle a lot, fortunately. So I've got the Milwaukee cordless circular saws. I've actually got the new left hand blade saw in for review. Um, you saw this guy was actually the winner of my hand tool shootout for best circular saw, best cordless circular saw of all time. I've got Ridges uh, Brad Nailer. I've got Makita's track saw, the cordless one, this thing's amazing. I've got uh, my drills, kind of the stalwart on this wall has been the uh, Rigid Stealth Force impact driver. And these I've been really impressed with because I tried to build the whole bunk bed build I'm working on right now on one battery and I still have two notches left. These are the new LXT subcompact uh, brushless impact and uh, drill driver from Makita. I think they're gonna live there permanently too. Pretty cool up there. Next, we're moving into my workbench. Uh, I used to just kind of throw stuff in here, but recently I have really gotten into properly organizing my shop to save myself time and make it a lot more efficient to get through projects. This is my measuring drawer. Uh, it's got all of my combination squares. I've got the Cat's Moses dovetail uh, guide here. Of course, you always gotta have your duress to ice pick in here as well. Um, all shadowed, all at hand and easy to grab. The thing I love about the shadow layout is if something's missing, uh, I know exactly what's missing so I can go and find it and put it back where it belongs. But I've got the measuring drawer, I've got the marking drawer shadowed. So I've got some you know knives, some uh, marking gauges, my number four planes, it's all ready to rock and roll when it comes time to do that in a project. I've got uh, the same thing with my drill set and driver set right here. Kind of some more household stuff, electrical and plumbing type gear. All just ready to rock and roll. This is a cabinet just full of like safety stuff, latex gloves, the whole thing. But this is not a tour of the workbench, so we can move on from here to some more like youtube -y specific type stuff. So here I've got my camera rig. I shoot on a Sony A6500. I'm um, always thinking about upgrading, but I think anybody that shoots a camera is always talk, thinking about upgrades. Uh, and I usually run either the Sigma 35 millimeter or I've got a Sony lens I'll show you here in just a second. 
Of course, I got a seven inch monitor for monitoring myself since I've got it on my own cameraman, uh, except for today, thanks Mike. And uh, I've also got this kind of hack here for a 15,000 or 14,000 uh, amp hour battery that runs the whole rig. So instead of recording for 20, 30 minutes, I can get about two or three hours out of it. Really works pretty well. And then I've got the rest of my camera gear here so that I'll actually use it. Um, so in this cabinet, I've got kind of like headphones and this is all the camera battery charging station. I've got my drone down there that I haven't gotten to use much recently and a couple of waterproof cases for when I travel with my camera. And then up in this cabinet, I've got all my lenses. And this is uh, the other ones that I've been at, used a whole bunch. This is a Sony 18 to 105 zoom lens. It's F4 throughout the whole range. This is a great YouTuber lens because it gives you a huge focal range with giving you that like kind of shallow depth of field without it being too hard to focus with just that F4. That's a good setup. There's also some dead microphones and other stuff in here too. We won't talk about that. Moving on from here, uh, well, I guess I've got here sort of my inventory management system. This is sort of tools in for review, uh, parts for different projects that are in progress. I'm trying to be a lot more organized this year, if you can't tell, so this is part of that. Um, here I do have my old planer, my old joiner I'm getting rid of. And then of course, here's Mac. He's the, the cleaning person of the shop. That's a Makita industrial robotic shop vac. Goes around here to make sure the floor stays clean. Uh, this is a future project here, my workbench. Uh, this is a bunch of red oak and white oak that I recently picked up that I'm gonna turn into a split top Rubo workbench. Also, I've got my organization for the house over here. This is kind of where I just keep like basic household cleaners and whatever just all neat and out of the way. And this is kind of a little workstation that's still yet to be fully organized but uh, it's where I keep sort of my bits and bobs, screws, nails, whatever I need for the different projects. I can come in here, it's all nicely organized. Keep a couple of my little mortisers down there for when I need them. And I just got a 3D printer, that's pretty cool. And of course, a chainsaw hanging up to give it that Texas chainsaw vibe. I don't want anybody to get too comfortable in here. Up above this, I keep, again, echoing back to Adam Savage. I really believe in the way he organizes the shop. The fourth order retrievable station up here where I have like uh, things I'll need at the end of projects like my finish sprayer, um, some specialty clamps, extra lighting, and spare batteries and chargers for the different tools that I keep around the shop. On um, this wall, on the uh, wall control board, I've got a couple of little like frequently used clamps set up, and then my other upgrade from Laguna, my eight inch spiral head joiner. This thing's great. It's got, again, just like the planer leaves, like almost sanded ready finish and uh, can take off big chunks of wood if I need it to, but does a really good job with the fine stuff as well. Been a big fan of that so far. Um, one of the underrated things about the spiral head joiners and planers is uh, with those small chips, it does a really good job for dust collection as well. Um, so I just run a two and a half horsepower uh, Harbor Freight dust collector. Um, I've got plans to upgrade this thing. I bought the new impeller um, to up the suction rate on this. And I also bought a dust right cyclone. So I plan on mounting on the wall here and getting a little more out of the way, but right now it's super inconveniently placed. Uh, I also have on the wall here, my distraction of my TV, currently playing my own videos and uh, my air station. I don't use a lot of air tools, but it's nice to have it just at hand whenever it's ready. So a cord reel or a hose reel and a cord reel right there, ready to rock and roll. And then my uh, air nailers are hanging right there. Over this way, I have my charging station. Since I do a lot of tool reviews, I don't have sort of one uh, battery system. So this is the way that I kind of keep them all charged and ready to rock and roll. Um, I do, however, for if you're um, buying cordless tools, it's probably a good idea to stick with one brand just so you don't have to buy all the batteries and chargers and have all that extra space to take care of. And then this thing is a fun tool as well. So we've got the 3D printer over there. I have no idea how to use that yet, but this is something I've gotten pretty familiar with as far as computer controlled tools. This is the X car from Inventables. The nice thing about this is it really speeds up your ability to prototype and get through and really get from idea to you know finished project a lot quicker. Um, with their uh, easel software and with the, just how simple this thing is to put together and use, I mean, it really makes a CNC an uh, integral part of woodworking or making of any sort. Been a big fan of that. And that thing kicks up a lot of uh, small, like fine sawdust. So I also have my 
air cleaner up here, up above here as well. That's pretty much the shop though. Um, I, I've been working out of this three car garage now for about a month and it's awesome. I've grabbed another like 300 square feet moving to the extra car, uh, parking spot. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can build a lot of stuff out of a garage. So just cause you have a one car, two car garage, whatever it may be, don't take that as a challenge. That's really just an opportunity to see what you can do with the space you have. I've got a lot of extra space in here now, but I'm sure like everybody, I'm gonna fill it up with tools anytime now. But uh, if you do have any questions about how I did choose to organize it, feel free to drop me a comment down below. I usually respond to all those comments. And if you like this video or wanna find out more about my channel, uh, please subscribe, drop a like down below, whatever you're into. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. And uh, remember, keep your tools sharp and keep your mind sharp. Don't you ever call me by my name.